this is the tale thus far. In the foundry, a powerful guardian, its heart corrupted, its purpose thwarted. Only life can drive back such sorrow. Adard was lost, and darkness came upon the horsemen. for a horse. I have to go alone. This is no place for a horse. I have to go alone. This is no place for a horse. into the earth. Then we have lost one of our greatest allies. Now, what will you kill next? You saved our realm, Rider, and for that, you have my gratitude. But only time will tell if your path leads into darkness, or if it leads out. Why build constructs? You make us seem sturdy enough. Even we must eventually pass from this life. But our spirits are far too ancient to be drawn to the dead city. We must instead become one with the forest, or take up a body of stone. The constructs are dead makers. You think there would be more of them? Once, there were many constructs in the halls of the Stone Father. But corruption has claimed most of their number, and ours as well. 
I searched for a way to give life to stone without sacrificing the soul of the maker. But I cannot say that life is what I gave my creation. Something went wrong. The construct was consumed by fire. Rage boiling up from the abyss. It killed one of our young ones and fled into the charred pass. I do not wish to see my creation destroyed, but it must not harm anyone else. I need you to kill it. You had trouble raising weeds. Why create a construct? We are a people of stone, born of the fires beneath the earth. I captured a spark from the heart of the Stone Father to bring my creation to life. But it wouldn't stop burning. And soon, his pain turned to rage. I've slain constructs before, Shaman. How will I know when I've killed yours? He has taken to calling himself Gorm. The word I know not, but I sense it is ancient, a word of fire. It wells up from within him and spells onto the earth. Fire or blood, I will drain him of both. Without me, horseman. I've had my fill of adventure. I can't believe Idar's gone. I never thanked him for all he did. Planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us! slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet! Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. 
I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born, and soon I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness, from withered root to fruitless limb, and even death himself will not escape it. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Pale Rider, isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life, I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. But I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more! The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first. Nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balance is life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. 
Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. <laughs> I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten, no. The Nephilim live on in you. <laughs> but what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. <laughs> Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. You have to go alone. This is no place for a horse. I have to go alone. This is no place for a horse. I have to go alone. This is no place for a horse.